good afternoon guys welcome to the very first tutorial thursday of 2020 Woohoo! and it is going to be a simple one because today we are just going to make some simple journaling cards with index cards and washi tape <laughs> everything is piled into this box because i took some photos and put it on instagram and social media the other day last week i think it were actually um this is all the stuff that i piled into this box and took over to the table with me in the living room instead of working here in the craft room because taylor was in here um but yes i did these whilst watching um youtube videos actually and it's just some simple little made some simple journaling cards basically out of index cards as you can see i have three different types of journaling cards here uh, index cards here um, I have these ones which have a red line across the top I have these white ones with blue lines across the top and then I have a pad full of coloured ones which is slightly bigger um, and I used them to put my nautical stickers on which I got as a birthday present yay this is all I did guys, just basically stuck them on to the cards in an aesthetically pleasing fashion. <laughs> so, there we go. And that one, the only thing I haven't done yet is ink around the edges. That is because, um, well, one, you know I'm not a huge lover of inking. I do like it, don't get me wrong, but I do do it. I'm just lazy and I forget, or I can't be bothered. Um... But these aren't finished yet because I am going to sew around the edges of them and then I will ink after I have sewn them. So put them in there and I'm just going to go through the ones that I've already done, which are that one. These are vellum stickers, that's washi tape. These are some vellum stickers, which is awesome because you can see through. Um, yeah, so uh, some botanical ones, I love the butterfly ones. There's all sorts. I just grabbed all the stickers and washi tape that I have. Well, not all of them, but the majority of them. The ones that I thought would work well. And just got sticky, basically. But like I said, these are, I will sew around the edges of all these before I ink around them. If I think it needs it after sewing. I like that one. Like a little postage stamp, that postage stamp is gorgeous just on its own. Again, a vellum sticker, another vellum sticker with a butterfly on, some washi tape, just simple. I think they were cacti washi tape, just some simple flower washi tape. I love that tape, I use that tape on presents actually. And then I did some stamping. I wasn't quite fond of the stamping version, um, but yeah, I'm, I think stamping isn't my thing, to be honest. Got a bit of mark on it there. But yeah, and it will like stamp once and then again to get a lighter impression. Also stamped off a few times before stamping again. As you can tell, my stamping, my stamp off page. But yes, yeah, so there you go, guys. You know, that's pretty much the collection that I did. It looks like it takes about five minutes to do all that, but it didn't. It took about half an hour, 45 minutes. But, you know, um, I got my inks out ready and everything. Didn't use them. Like I said, I will do that after. Um, but I have these washi tapes. This one is a bit like tickets. Oh, come on. Yeah, this one is a little bit like tickets. Focus, thank you. I like this one. Um, quick stick. Yeah, get back on. I don't think I used this one actually because it was too wide. But this one is like advertisement. So I like that one. Nice wide one. 
Oh, it didn't go that way, it went in that way. I love how they just fit in them tubs. In fact, I'll leave the lid off and then I can see what's in there. Um, corner puncher, corner rounder I didn't use. Um, oh, these are some stickers. They are full sheet stickers. I didn't like them. They didn't work. Them was the nautical ones that I used. I'm not going to use them again. Again, like I said, I have a pad full of coloured index cards. Um, more ink that I didn't use glue that I didn't even use actually so that can go back in the glue tub then I know where it is I'm looking for that the other day <laughs> um, that even in there because it's not oh, right it's in there it wasn't sitting in properly um, yeah, my ink dabbers dabbers whatever you call them I love these ones these are finger ones um, different colours obviously for different inks but just put it in finger and use it I find it so much easier using these than using the circle ones or the rectangular ones I make far too much mess with those <laughs> these are awesome again another inks pad like I said I didn't use them not yet I'm going to sew around all them all of them first before distressing if I even distress um yeah them were the ones that I used for stamping, which I'm not going to do today. And then we have these. So let's get rid of that tub. That's my stamping block. So let's put that back. Um, but yeah, so we have some stickers in here, which... Oh, I didn't use them. No, I actually didn't use these stickers because these are white stickers. Like they've got a white background on them. So I didn't use those. I used these ones instead because they're vellum stickers, so they're see-through. So yeah, I threw all my vellum stickers that I have together in this tub. The couple of different packs that I have. I threw them all together here in this tub. So there's a bit of a mix. Um, but like I said, they're all vellum stickers, so when you put them on the page, you can see through them. It's random ones. Kind of no rhyme or reason to them. Just whatever I have to hand. Where are my index cards? There they are. These are my plain index cards in a proper tub. Like I said, them are quite old ones. These are, these are actually kind of refills. I got it as a bundle for a refill. So they're different to these. These came in the tub with these little dividers, which I'm going to use as templates to make file folders at some stage. But yes, today, however, we're not going to use index cards. Today, I'm going to use tags. So let me just stick them back there. Oh, and so I have another tub here with the other washi tapes in and then I have some wildlife stickers but again they've got white on them they're not vellum so that you can see through them but let's keep that out for those and I'm going to use some tags in this box I have a multitude of ready-made tags which I have used a lot of them I have used these shop-bought ones as a template um, so literally for all of these all of these tags are made from cardstock and I used this shop-bought tag as a template but yeah, it was all card stock from scrapbooking card that I didn't think I was going to use for anything as full sheets. That's just plain white, pretty much card stock paper. That was also a 12 by 12 paper pack that I didn't like it as a full sheet, but cut up into tags. It looks pretty awesome. So I probably won't do anything with them. I'll probably actually just leave them and sew around them. And we're not going to use plain ones. Oh, actually, yeah, we will. Let's use the plain ones. Let's be boring. And then I have some tall ones, which I made with my tag punch. 
They're made with this. Not just tall ones, there's a few different sizes which I made with that. Again, out of cardstock. There we go. So, yeah. And that's a shop bought tag. But let's use these ones today. But like I said, it is just literally just getting some washi tape or stickers or whatever and laying them on the tags or cards however you think is appropriate <laughs> and then we'll sew around the edges just to add a bit extra to them basically it really is as simple as that guys now what's that going to look like down the side of a tag quite interesting so oops. and I did use a glue stick on some of the washi tape because obviously we want it to be a permanent fixture However, for the purposes of this demonstration, which is pretty self-explanatory, but it's the first of the year. Let's keep it simple. Um, as I said, as it being the first tutorial of the year, I figured let's keep it simple. And this is something everybody can do. And you don't need a whole heap of supplies to do it with. And like I said, some of them I actually, I didn't show you that, but on the other ones, some of them I haven't cut these. I've folded them over so there's a little bit on the back, which I think I will do with this one. Fold that that way. Fold that that way. And then let's just fold it back over the top. There you go. Waste not, want not. And then, like I said, some of them I have used glue stick on, some of them I haven't, but I'm going to sew around the edges anyway. So there you go, guys. There's your first tag. And actually, this is the perfect chance, opportunity, should I say, not chance, to use the new paper punch. Slot punch. I love this punch. Yeah. I won't be loving it when it breaks my desk. So I'm going in as far as the tag will go, pretty much eyeballing the centre, and punch. And there we have the tag. I'll just throw it in the basket for now. Okay, then what? Let's have a go at these. I haven't used these ones. These are the same, but different colours. One is gold one is silver i don't know how well that is showing up because the sun's just come out and i can't see a thing but yes one is gold one is silver but they are the same pattern so i think i'll just go across the bottom with these let's try and get them to little trees twigs whatever mm the center cut it off there and then fold it around might as well have a bit of decoration on the back and then I don't know what about maybe yeah let's go across the top as well so again Let's try and get them two in the centre. This tape probably should have glue stick on it because it's not that sticky. But I will deal with that later on when I've sewn around it. So there you go. Quite simple. Like I said, these are simple, guys. I'm not doing anything. Oh no, keep the scissors out, don't I? I'm not doing anything complicated. Actually, let's punch the tag, the slot, should I say. 
Right, so I'm going to come up a little bit in this one. I'm going to line it up with them two dots and punch there. There we go. Like I said, I am not doing anything complicated at all. You guys can do this yourself. And I'm going to round the corners on the bottom of this, actually. You know, just because I quite like tags when they've got the corners rounded on them. Actually, I was going to do that with all the journaling cards as well because I prefer them when they've got the corners rounded, but personal preference. Um, let's use the gold. Oh no, the silver one. That was the gold one that it was it? Did I use the gold one? No, I used the silver one, so I swap out for the gold. I put the wrong one back. Yep, yeah, we're back. Mumbling away. Waffling on, mumbling away. Good to be back in it guys can you guys believe that for somebody who doesn't tend to seem to have enough time to do any videos has managed to get 10 no 11 i'm pretty sure yesterday i managed to i counted that including yesterday's video which granted wasn't a speaking video but including yesterday's video was my 11th video just this month in january how crazy is that? Like seriously, I know I've cheated and done a couple of them where I wasn't talking because whatever I was doing either needed my full undivided attention or Taylor was home or Fab Mam were in so I didn't have the privacy to be able to talk and film at the same time. But I figured, do you know what? If I'm here and I'm crafting, whether I'm talking or not, if I'm here and I'm crafting, why not flip the video on? Because I'm doing this anyway, whether I'm talking to you guys or not, I'm doing this anyway. So when I'm doing processes, like the design team project, then, you know, whether I'm talking or not, I might as well just flip the video on, you know, like hit the record button and bring you guys along for the journey anyway. Speed it up because it just makes it a little bit easier to watch especially when I'm not talking I mean who wants to watch an hour long video when somebody's not talking who wants to watch an hour long my, an hour long with my videos when I'm talking let alone when I'm not <laughs> so you know I figured right well from now on whenever I'm doing something like that then I will flip the camera on and then we'll just speed it up and add some music to it and i've took on board a little bit of what you guys have been saying since before christmas to be honest and then since then and i've pretty much been sticking to the same songs that i use when i'm overlaying like when i've knocked the sound off and i'm doing videos or i'm not speaking a few of you have well quite a overwhelming number of you really um have said you know which whichever video it is i've put up a few of you have commented saying i really like this song good choice of music to go over what you're doing so and i've had quite like i said quite an overwhelming response to that song so i've started using like the same songs for different things and i think just for a while I've no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> I think just for a while I'll stick to those particular songs and we'll see how we go on. I may change it up a little bit from time to time or depending what it is I'm doing. But for the time being, I think I'll stick to the same ones and we'll just see how we get on. That's a bit big, in it? That's upside down. Okay, so we won't use that one. Oh, this video sucks, guys, doesn't it? Hmm. Not doing very well today with the tags. The tags are a bit harder to do than the journaling cards. Let's put that one down there in the corner. 
but yeah great stuff i've just managed to waffle for 20 minutes and haven't even shown you anything not really <laughs> but do you know what i ain't gonna fret it because every time i've put a video up and then i've commented going oh gosh you know waffled my way through it again i get comments from people like laurie hi laurie and Tuesday, hi Tuesday, and other people saying, oh yay, Minx is back. <laughs> I was like, yep. Apparently you guys seem to really like it when I waffle through a video, so I will waffle away. <laughs> this is what happens though, honestly. For those of you who do do videos, you'll, you'll know this, that when you haven't videoed properly for quite some time, it's difficult to get back into it but as i said i am not showing you guys anything out of the extraordinary or majorly important this is just to show how simple and quick without the waffling it can be to knock out half a dozen tags or journaling cards just with some stickers and stuff in your stash stickers and washi tape things you wouldn't normally think about probably but like I said, it's a little bit harder to do the tags than it is to do the um, journaling cards for some reason probably the shape of them or like that one but it's too big so let's crack out a journal card uh, journal card index card that's the one find the words Again, no different with the journaling card, with index cards, than it is with the tags. Although what I what I was doing were, if anything had text on it, I was lining it up with the line. So you see there, even though it's hanging over either side, I was lining the design up at that side. But then instead of having it there where it's in between lines, I was raising it up so the bottom line of text was sitting on the bottom line of the card to make it look intentional. And then either cut the edges off or wrap them around the other side. These stickers are quite sticky, so don't... Sorry, guys. Don't necessarily need tape on them. Uh, tape glue on them but... yeah. right, let's try it upside down right so it's on the line there it needs to be further over there do I? there we go And yes, I could have inked around it to make it stand out, but, you know, this is me. See what I mean? That text is now sitting on that line as though it's intentional, but it's still lined up here on the side. I'll cut that extra off or just wrap it around and then when I sew around it, it'll get caught in. I quite like that one. Let's round the corners on this one. I don't know what it is is it just me guys or do journaling cards just look so much better when they're rounded when the corners are rounded on them i just realized i haven't been doing it with these i don't know why but they do they just look so much better when the corners have been rounded on them so let's throw them in there let's have a do put stamped ones in there I don't know why it just looks so much better, so much finished, like it's finished now. I'd be happy to just round the corners and ink it, than sew it and ink it. But I will sew around it, because I seem to have an obsession with the sewing machine at the moment. Oh, speaking of sewing machines. One second. 
I'm not going to bore you and do all of these in one go, just give me a second. Speaking of sewing machines, look at this. Some of you may have seen this in Vlogmas, but look what I got at Christmas! I bought myself a dinky little sewing machine and it's awesome! And I mean it's really awesome. It is so small. Bear with me while I get it out of the box. But it's proper awesome guys because you can use it plugged into the mains or it runs off batteries. It has a foot pedal but it also has an automatic switch on it. So you can use it with the foot pedal or you can control it with the button so it saws for you. And besides the fact it's pink, look at this guys, look how diddy it is. Isn't it cool? But yeah, so this button here, um, it hasn't got any batteries in, but this button here, if I flick it to this, it's not left, although it is left, um, that's low, the L means low, so when you have it on that it goes a little bit slower, when you have it on that side at H it's high so it goes a bit faster. That's your back stitch button, these are the stitches it does, so just your basic straight stitch, zigzag stitch, I think they're for making buttonholes to be honest. That's like a, pardon me, that's like a double zigzag, I think, and that's a button all one, I'm not sure. Tight zigzags, a little bit looser, you know. But yeah, how cool, guys. I love it. This knob controls these. So obviously if you have it on one, you're doing a straight stitch. If you have it on, if you flick it to number 10, it does that stitch. That's what that's for. So it's so simple to use and understand. Um... It has the usual little lever here for lifting the foot up and down. Your tension there. It's even got a little ruler at the bottom, the centimetres ruler. So it's like 18 centimetres and then a little bit either side. It's got a thing there for if you want to do sleeve cuffs or something like that. Well, not cuffs, but you know, if you're doing something it needs to go under. It is awesome. And I've used it for all sorts. I'm still working on the thread that it came with. It came with this white thread in there. And I'm still working with that. I haven't changed the thread colour or anything over yet. But that's the machine. It came with these. Spare cotton, extra bot, even the little underneath bobbin things are wound. Some pins and tape measure they come with all sorts and then dinky little foot pedal and then the power cable and I've used this plugged into the mains but using the automatic on off switch instead of the foot pedal <laughs> sorry guys Pokemon come home and frightened me to death he snuck in bless him but he frightened me to death <laughs> Um, yeah, as I was saying, I think I was saying, there's the mains lead and I've used the sewing machine plugged in with the mains but using the automatic on off switch because I don't know about the foot pedal, I think it's too small, I can't control it properly. Um, and actually I think it goes faster on the automatic. But anyway, how awesome is that? 30 quid it were from Aldi, that was my Christmas tre present treat to myself. <laughs> so yes, anyway, right. This video is going to end abruptly now because <laughs> like, I haven't really shown you anything you don't already know what to do. But now that man's home, we're going to head upstairs into my old workroom and carry on with the decorating because we're in the process of getting that sorted so that Taylor can move out of this side of the room upstairs and then I can relocate my stuff from upstairs to this side of the room. Yay! Anywho, sorry for the abrupt ending guys. I will make it up to you, I promise. But like I said... I haven't shown you anything you don't already know how to make. So, thanks for coming along, guys, and I will see you all soon. Bye!